What's up everybody, another day, another vlog. Time to head out and get another sake bento. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back. Another week, another bento. This week it's volume four. It's another vegan bento. You know, I don't normally order, order vegan food. So here we go, let's just try it out. We got in this bento, it's a Sajemin noodles, fried noodles, um, vegan nuggets, sauteed sweet chili and bean sprout, and pickled baby eggplant. So hopefully I pronounced that correctly, Sajemin. Probably not. Leave me a comment down below if your Chinese is good and you can uh, tell me how, I, how bad I pronounce your language. All right, I'm gonna loosen up these noodles a bit. on <laughs> this is user error once I'm able to dig these noodles out <sighs> all right first complaint I wish these noodles were uh mixed in a little bit better or chopped up a bit. <laughs> All right. All right. First bite of noodles. Hmm. Not bad. Ooh, it's a little spice to these noodles. It's pretty good. It's not too uh, overpowering, but um, mm. ah, yeah. Mm. I love noodles. I think these are udon noodles. Let's try some of these vegan nuggets. All right. It's nice and creamy, but it's no chicken nugget. Perfectly like those crap crepes they had last week. Those are really good. This is a close second, I guess. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, not a fan of these bean sprouts and peppers. It's missing something. Something is missing. To me, something is missing. Like maybe some meat or even like some mushrooms would be good with this, I guess. We want to keep it vegan. But yeah, something is missing for this. Last thing to try is this blue thing. I asked in a previous video two weeks ago during the, the other vegan bento what it was. And this is basically the pickled baby eggplant. It comes out blue, which is a, for me, it's an interesting color. That's a bit sour. It's time to open up the sake. Let's see, this is 14% alcohol by volume, which is pretty nice, 200 milliliters. A product of Aichi, Japan. All right. Oh. Let's see. He says here, Nigori translates to cloudiness. Kuni, uh, Kuni Zakari Nigori conveys a creamy mouthfeel and friendly flavors. Best enjoy chilled. Please shake well before drinking. So I, ha I have had this before, so 
but um, I'm really looking forward to drinking it. <clears throat> so, oops, oh man, I wore it. No. Oh man, look at this. Yep, every last drop. Drop. Come by, guys. So this type of sake, uh, it's normally it's all it's unfiltered, so it's cloudy, and it has a usually has a sweeter taste to it. Which, um, if you've watched my previous videos, then you under, you know that I like sweet sweeter sake. So this is right down my alley. It just also has a, a similar similar taste to uh, let's see. Chinese rice wine or go to like a Korean barbecue place, makoli. It has that same type of uh, consistency, the uh, the unfilteredness to it, the, the cloudiness, the milky texture. Mm. Yep, this I could drink all day. The ones from the cans last week, I probably have like one or two and then I'd be done. And it also put me on my ass, so those are 19%. This is only 14. I could probably drink two of these and then I'll be, they gave me three. <laughs> three of these and I'll be on my ass. But yeah, it's good stuff. De definitely recommend uh, Nigori Sake. It's, uh, it's a bit different from your, your standard hot sake that you get at the hibachi places, but it's really worth trying. All right. Now let's finish all this food off. <laughs> so I'm also working on a new video, a new review video that I'm gonna post maybe sometime this week. I'm gonna do most of the uh, the prep work for it this weekend. I have to do some, uh, what, do we, what would I call it? I have to do some experiments with the with the product. Uh, with the, it's basically it's the coffee cup, but it's the uh, Hydro Flask 12 ounce co coffee cup. I want to do some experiments on how long, or how long the um, the uh, how long the contents stay warm in it, and that'd be just good to know. And uh, instead of just giving my own like uh, yeah I like it, go buy it <laughs> type of opinion. I want to give some actual some actual value to it. Uh, put some put some effort into it that's basically it so hopefully you uh, keep a look out for that one and um hopefully if that does well then uh, i'll probably continue doing other type of videos like that you know just uh trying things and testing things out you know something something to keep me mentally entertained and something that provides value to, to other people so so mm -hmm. or maybe i'll switch to just drinking alcohol on camera Oh, ah, that's really good. I should order two. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos. If not, leave a comment down below and tell me what you would want me to do. I will definitely try to facilitate that. I'm also thinking about maybe grabbing some beers next time, some craft beers and trying those out. And let's see, you know, I, I, those, that was an idea I was planning to doing with like someone else, but with the, um, with the whole uh, social distancing, that uh, idea never, never gained any traction. It's been basically two or three months I have wanted to do that. So I'm just probably just gonna do, probably just gonna grab a bunch of uh, craft beers and do it by myself and see how that goes. Hopefully, you know, Hopefully that will, that, it's just, that's just an experiment, but I'm still going to do, I'm still planning to do other type of stuff for reviews. I'm just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't and go from there. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys uh, stick around and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.